Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Human Experience Challenge. And we join Amara, Don and Caleb as they spend another really boring evening inside their very small, tiny trailer house. <laughs> and they're all uncomfortable in various ways. Actually, Caleb's the only one who's happy at the moment, although he's tense from the plants in the plumbing. That was from earlier. But they're all not very happy at the moment. They're all trying to sleep, but the speaker on the wall stops them from sleeping because they can't really sleep with the music. Amara's not happy because of food from the cheap stove. Oh, they're hugging. How cute. And, um, yeah, I think they need to turn that off. All right, let's turn that off. Let Don sleep because he has an hour. And Amara and Caleb, I think today we're going to send you on a date. Because the last time we tried to, you know, they had a disastrous... Um, love day but they weren't friends they were I think they were like friends but not good friends and now with Caleb she is they're good friends it says they're in their relationship bar so I think we can now try and have a successful date except Amara wants to go to bed and sleep really Don's gone off to work. This is the perfect time to have a good date. You go somewhere where there's no plants in the plumbing, where you can get some food, because although you're not really hungry, and your thirst is okay. Alright, Amara, get up. We're going on a date. So, more choices. Romance. Um, ask if single. We know he's single, but we'll ask anyway, and we'll see if we get any any choices to go on a date? Okay, she's learned he's single. Woohoo! Alright, uh, more choices. Romance. Alright, we're not getting it from there. Let's see if we... Do you get it on your phone? How do you... You know what, I've never really done the whole date thing. And I'm pretty sure you could just... You know, just click on them and get a choice to go on the date. Yeah, flirt. Alright, try flirting. Okay, Mara. Okay, Caleb liked that. Good, good. He did like that. He's a bit more receptive. More choices. Romance. Ask on a date. I knew you'd bring it up in the romantic bit. Okay, they want to go on a date. That's good. And where should we send them? I don't know. Not in Strangeville. Not with the, the mother plants and stuff. Let's try going to the big city. Is there... Karaoke bar. That one is great acoustics. That one is it's a party place. Let's go there. Okay, so main goal socialize with your date. Let's get the socials. Ask the stargaze. Oh, you need to use the toilet. You can use it in the second. Are we not going there? Because that's socializing. And that will bring up their relationship a little bit more. What else? Sit and flirt, sit and talk. Alright, stargaze just for a couple of minutes. Okay. That's good, that's bringing up. Alright, sit and... Sit together. Alright. Who are you? Kenny Bird, your mixologist. And listen to the really bad singing. Uh, where did I send you? Oh, in here. Okay. 
Okay, Caleb, just curb your tendency. Is that Bob Pancakes? Is that Bob Pancakes? Yep, it is. Okay. Amara's taking care of her her biological needs. Where's Caleb? He is watching. Alright. Um, no, we need to sit and talk. Sit together. That is Marcus. He is, he works at the um he works at the lab. Okay. Talk. I know. Let's switch round to Amara. Okay, tell your date a story. What are you going to do now? You're going to watch the karaoke performance. There is no karaoke performance. Call over. Are you watching this dude? Wherever he is. Cat ear boy. Uh, I won't even pronounce that. I don't know. Um, gossip. More choices. Romance. We need to flirt with the date. Uh, flirt. Are you ranting? I hope you're not ranting. I probably should have sent them on a date when their moods were better. But let's see if we can at least get silver. Uh, more choices. Romance. Compliment appearance. Okay. Alright, we're getting silver and we've gone to gold. That is awesome. Um, suggestive conversation. This is getting good. Um, more choices. Snuggle. Can you snuggle or is that too early in the relationship? I oh, know, they're, they're up for snuggling. They are very up for snuggling. Okay. They're up for snuggling. Uh, more choices, romance. Oh, this is making me smile. Um, confess attraction. Okay, you need your bed. We know Amara. We're going to finish the date soon. Just confess your attraction. Yeah, okay. We've gotten gold. She's tired. He's tired. And we're ending it. But we've got gold. Which is what we would like. Alright. Go home. Go home. Okay, they had a they had a they had a great date, a legendary date. Okay, you need to sleep. So now that they're good friends, are you going to sleep? Next to Amara. I think he will. I think they will. And then that will help the bed problem. No, you won't. Oh, good grief. Alright, turn off the radio. And you go to sleep in that bed. And he's talking to himself in his sleep. As you do, Caleb. As you do. Alright, Don, let's put you to sleep outside on where is the neighbour's the neighbor's bench? Where's the bench? Have I missed the house totally? Oh there it is. Nap. Okay, Caleb, why are you awake? He needs to feed. But he has plasma. How much plasma do you have? We've got four packs. That's good. Alright, that is awesome. So are you two going to talk about your your wonderful date? I know they got a date reward. Um, I think they said it's in the household inventory. Um... Household inventory. Okay, the VIP bucket.
which is not going to sit on the only surface that they have. All right, well, we'll, we'll save that. What's well, this? Journey to the Stars. We'll save that for when she goes back to her, her apartment in San Mishino. Uh, at least they're hugging autonomously now. I think we need to put the speaker outside. Because there's not enough room to put a door on the bedroom. Although... Yeah, there's not an... I don't know. Let me have a play around and I will get back to you guys. Okay, so actually it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I managed to put a wall in here. I put the beds on the opposite side of the of the room and a door could fit. So at least then they don't have the noise from the stereo. Oh, I've left the, the bin in the middle of the floor, <laughs> which is a bit silly. But at least then they'll be able to sleep without the... Um... Oh, Amara, don't nap. Go to sleep. They'll be able to sleep without having the music waking them up. So after we got Amara's needs back up into the green, we sent her to the lab to um, collect to collect the ingredients to make the vaccine. But she quickly got tired again. I'm not quite sure why. I mean, she must have had a long day. But after, um, when she, when it was time for her to work, she got promoted, and um, we got some money in, which was excellent. So while she was sleeping, um, Caleb and Don were chatting in the kitchen and becoming good friends. I mean, I was surprised at how good of friends they were, without me having to tell them to do anything. I mean, they just seemed to hit it off naturally. So they were quite happy to stand in the kitchen and chat while Don had his breakfast. And Caleb learned that Don is romantic. When Amara woke up, I sent her out to go and test out her vaccine. So she got three young ladies, Jess, Leslie and Luna, and she cured them. They had to be friends. So I had Amara take them to the park and cloud gazed for all three of them that went on a group outing so that they can at least bring up their health bar and you know bring up their friendship and they can become friends at least more than just acquaintances passing acquaintances so amara she was there all day as you can see she got really dirty but it remains to be seen whether you know we worked on their friendship bars for you know if, if it was enough to get them to be friends so we can recoup them for mother Amara and Caleb were dancing and chatting in the kitchen and I got them to do a couple of romantic socials and they seemed to be down with it. They were quite happy. They were extremely happy to be romantic with each other and you know to do all the new things, um, sexy poses and swapping numbers. I don't understand why that's still a thing when they're clearly friends and living together. And then they had their first kiss, which was quite awesome. So I let them do, you know, a few more things, a few more romantic, uh, romantic stuff.
because you know you can always spam those romantic proposals and they seem to be enjoying themselves in fact they're enjoying themselves so much I decided to get Amara to be his girlfriend And then we got a proposal, so I thought, let's do this. And Caleb turned her down. I couldn't believe he did that. I could not believe he did that. But they didn't lose very much on their within with their relationship still quite high so they seem to they seem to like each other still but as Caleb said it's too soon that's it for this episode please like comment and subscribe for more great content it will help to grow my channel okay thanks for watching bye bye